Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be playing some Manor Lords. I've been so excited to show this game off live and in my videos. So let me get my notifications out and then we'll get right into it. So we're definitely going to be playing a new game today. For some reason, I can't actually get it to show up on my phone, but anyways, give me one sec. Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Gotta love hearing yourself. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> there you go, just had to change that. There we go. We should have everything set up now so we can get into it. <clears throat> So I'm thinking that we will go with this man, as he's looking pretty good. And <laughs> Tall Man is a fine name. We'll just go with these. Hmm. What do we want to do for our... If we do a different color, though. Can we red? I think that looks sort of good, maybe. Do that in the center, make it slightly smaller. <coughs> Can have that white. Or maybe black. Sure. Maybe no symbol, honestly. Yeah, that looks cool. So I was thinking for this first game, just to do the default on restoring the piece. I think that would be a pretty well, pretty good way of doing it. Yep, let's do it. Let's see how our land is looking. We have a rich iron deposit. Our animals are really far away. It's unfortunate. Our berries are right next to us though. Oh, 
How's our fertility looking? Honestly, pretty good, actually. That's good. Um, because it's so widely spread, I won't worry too much about building. But maybe we'll build our town around there just because it doesn't have fertility. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Let us get started on this. So, first things that we're going to want to do is put down... Yo, Mustafa, what's up, man? Scam test. What do you mean by scam test? Okay. we have something that goes that now we can go with our granary let's just take a quick look at the yeah over here it looks good Granary and our storehouse as well. Our guys will get started on it. <clears throat> How to get early access? Uh, email Hooded Horse and ask for it if you're a content creator. That's my advice. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is we will build our marketplace around here. Maybe across from the two buildings. I might be a little bit too big, I like this. There we go, that looks good. right now that's fine we'll put someone on the storehouse to move our stuff over <clears throat> we're gonna need a well as well <laughs> a well as well i hate myself sometimes that should be fine right there The other thing we're going to want to do is we want to get another hitching post as soon as possible. Actually, we might just extend this road this way.
Mm -mm. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So we have... Should have our second hitching post up. Let's buy ourselves an ox. And then we can also go about... Oh my god, bro. That's crazy how far away that is. It's really unfortunate, but... It's not really anything we can do about it. <coughs> That's so ridiculous. Like, actually. Okay, now that we have that going down, let's put down our logging camp. Um, let's just take a look at the fertilities real quick. It honestly probably doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll just have our logging camp cut down all these trees right here for now. But eventually... <clears throat> Should be good on these now. I don't think we need to move anything else around. Because most of our supplies should have been moved over by now. So, Good morning, bro. I am enjoying it quite a bit. It is very, very fun. I've been playing for just like about two days now. And um, it's been probably my favorite city builder ever. Got our woodcutter's lodge. Put two people in there. We need actually we can put three people in there for right now. We're just gonna need a ton of wood. And then how are we doing on food? We have three months of food left. Wait, what? Why did I put this over here? Is this not where it What? Am I crazy? I'm so confused. I swear I put that against the wild animals. I guess I just made that for nothing? What? Okay. Weird. Um, yeah. So we will rebuild that over here. My favorite part of the game... Honestly, just the building is my favorite part of the game. It feels so satisfying, the way it sounds and the ambiance. And my least favorite part of the game is probably how burgage plot work, <clears throat> burgage plots work and like the way how you're limited on upgrading them. I'll have to explain like later with the approval rating system, but it's, it's a little bit weird and it's not my favorite. But other than that, um, it's definitely very cool. Okay, so we should have a steady income of lumber coming in now. I'm just gonna say like we want this area to be chopped. Oh wait, that's firewood, bro. What am I doing? Did I actually screw myself? I'm just out of it today. Put one person in there to start getting us uh, wild animals. <coughs> Oh, 
We'll speed it up all the way. Really get this going over time. Yeah, the com so the combat's like a little bit wonky. It's definitely not like fully like fledged out, but it has felt pretty good. Um, I'll definitely try to get into like combat today to show y'all, but um, yeah, the, the combat's pretty good. It 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 needs some work, but it's good. A sec I will be building our first houses honestly I'll probably do that what that. we can probably put our church like right there maybe our manor right there and houses around this way we have like one piece of wood that was damaged probably not too worried about it but let's build our first yeah building is so cool especially like the burgage plot mechanic it needs to be a little bit further there do that I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I could go like here and then just have them going all the way down. I don't know if there's enough room on both sides for them, but I guess we'll see. Mm, not quite. So yeah, we can have like some industry buildings there or something. It'll be fine. We'll build the rest of our plots. Have two families building. Mm, what would I like to see added? Interesting. Um, so if we look at like the development panel, a lot of this is still locked. There isn't like that much that you can unlock in here. So I definitely want that to be finished. Most of the policies are still locked, so you can't unlock all of those. Um, and like, for example, like the different developments, they just like unlock different passive abilities or you can like unlock honey, stuff like that. So they definitely need to add more stuff um, in here. And then there's not even anything in the production tab. <laughs> and then also I'm hoping that they add some mechanics for um, like th there's sort of castle building, but it, it could definitely be fleshed out a little bit more from where it is right now. firewood whatever so two other things we are gonna need is a firewood lodge and then we're also gonna need a saw pit unfortunately we just had bandits steal a bunch of tools but hmm, it's just how it goes sometimes And I'll be streaming like every day all the way until release. So I'm happy to like answer any questions and stuff like that. Oh, that message just dis oh, there it is. Hmm. So we just got an armament delivery, luckily. Um, I do this just because it makes our life easier. And so you see, we got spears, so we can make a spear militia. And yeah, so. 
We don't have enough villagers to make more than 10, but eventually it'll get up to 20. And eventually we'll be able to make more <laughs> uh, villagers as well. It's definitely worth it, man. I, I'm like not the biggest city builder guy, but I do follow them every once in a while, and this one is just a ton of fun. Definitely worth check, checking out. <clears throat> there we go. If we do this. About halfway down. I wonder if this will work. I don't know if it will. I'm gonna try. Why do I have to carry this? Oh, not quite. That's okay. So now we have a houses. Our homeless problem is taken care of. We need these to be built so that we can store our fire logs or firewood. And I'm actually gonna put some in the storehouse just to take care of that as well. Yeah, what's up, Renek? Awesome, man. Bro, that's great to hear. <laughs> Bro, thanks, dude. That really means a lot to me, actually. Yeah, <laughs> my voice is a little bit rough recently because I've been sick, but I'm doing my best. I was really, like, annoyed that I was sick, like, the week that Manorloids came out. But that means a lot to me, man. Thank you. Let me know if you, like, want to see anything in the game. I'm happy to show off, like, the different systems, like, anything. Just ask for it, and I'm happy to show I'm thinking about making like a video over all of the help subjects just because people might be interested because they have like a page basically on everything on all the mechanics in the game so all right so we should have these should be built soon i didn't realize it was on one time speed again British plot should be finishing up now and we will do these extensions late in a little bit but we need to build up our money first as basically the extensions cost money as you can see it's like 15 for the vegetable garden and then 25 for either the goat or the chicken coop okay. yeah we're doing fine on wood now let's went to the woodcutters lodge for firewood Just take a look how our hunting cabin's doing. That should be fine. And we can probably take our person off of the, the storehouse now. And then they will go on the saw pit. And once we have the saw pit, we're going to build the church. The other thing is that we actually just did upgrade to a small village. So <laughs> that means we get our first development point. And I've actually been thinking pretty hard about what I want to do development-wise. And... It's honestly hard to say. So I, in the past, I've gone down this way, but honestly, farming fields just feel like sort of inefficient. So I'm almost thinking that, um, yeah, I don't know. I might go for like the basic armor making just so we can make our own armor. Thank you, bro. Yeah, so, so today I'll be streaming, like, at least this morning for, like, a couple hours, and then I should be streaming later today as well. And then, like, all up until the 26th, I'll be streaming pretty much every day, if I can manage it. Bro, thank you, man. Yeah, I was messing around with trade, um, like, the other day, and it, it trade's, like, actually really strong in this game. There were a fair number of um, content creators, like, there was like a discord in, in the hooded horse discord where like content creators were saying like trade isn't good, but trade's actually really, really strong. You just have to sell the, the right things. And the thing is like eventually, I mean, so in this, in this game, I got lucky because like basically all our land is fertile, but in like a lot of maps, you'll be stuck in something like this where none of the land is fertile or like this one. I mean, like usually... Most of my games, I'll get something like this. And when you do that, like, your farms barely make anything. 
and you'll you'll start to like run out of food supply and you just can't produce enough so i had to set up the trade so that i could import enough food to feed like all my villagers yeah that's definitely a good idea yeah thank you austin <laughs> okay let's get back into it so anyways development route wise i think we're gonna go armor i just want to make a big army this time and see what we can do with that um and I don't think anything else is really necessary. These are definitely nice to get the passive meat, but let me just see. Fertilization and then bakery. Bakeries are nice too, but so let's do the armor's workshop. We'll be able to produce helmets. And then we can also get advanced armor making and then master armor making to make a plate armor. And because we reached a small village, we should be able to make our manor. Oh, we need 20 planks and 15 stone though. So before we do that, I want to get our church set up. And after we get our church set up, we should be able to get some more families. And then with the more families, we can build on our stone deposit to um, <clears throat> eventually start getting some stone. We just need a, f oh my gosh, bro. Bandits are so annoying. Move that out a little bit more. And we'll clear the work area just so they can start chopping trees wherever. Thinking we could set up like a permanent work, um, like wood place over there so right now we're just waiting for the planks we got it so we can actually take our guy off of the soffit and we're actually gonna move this as well this way we'll move this as well and move the woodcutters lodge and uh, let's build our church Right here. All right, let's go take a look at the bandit camp. It's a little bit of bit of ways, but not too worried about it. Yeah, you can you can import food by selling stuff, uh, making like stuff in your own town. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> So, yeah. I think it's about time. Ooh, that's not good. Of course it rains when I move all my stuff over. It's so unfortunate. I'm thinking that we're going to want another hitching post pretty soon as well. Uh, no, I'd want to set up training before we do that. All right, so let's look at our burgage plots and see what we're missing. We got our church down, we got water access, we have our fuel stall, and we need two food things and one at clothing. So for clothing, we need to build the tannery, which usually I build it over here, but because that is so far away, I think this time I'll actually build it more near our town. Maybe we can just have some industry going along this road. I don't want to put it too far away. But I want to leave room to expand as well. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, it's one of the King's Road. Look at that. Okay. Also, I really like in this game how the map updates as you build on it. I think that's very cool. <coughs> so now that we have the tannery going down, we'll also need to start gathering our berries as well. Is this not? That's so weird. I feel like it should lock on. There we go. 
feel like I just destroyed a berry. Okay, we could lodge. I don't know. Those as well. That's fine. Honestly, it, they'll move this stuff over. It won't be a big deal. We're going to want a for forester's hut here as well. Go. So, right now, he hasn't actually added, like, any other, like, AI kingdoms where they can build up stuff, unfortunately. So. Sorry about that. Body hates me. So technically we're against this Baron here, but he's actually technically off map because in the early access he just hasn't added like AI kingdoms or anything. So it is a little bit disappointing that you're by yourself, but there are um, like bandit camps. But other than that, there's not really anything else on the map. But these guys will come attack us eventually. Anyways, uh, where were we? Got yeah, all turned around. Let's build up our log storage a little bit more and then we'll move him off of there. We can put someone on our tannery. That'll give us clothes. <laughs> and then for our last food, or for our last uh, business, we'll need someone in the berry hut. Actually, we can do that right now. I don't think we're building anything. So. The forester hut. We don't need the forester hut yet. That's okay. We can take this guy off. And put them in the granary for right now. Um, I'm... I'm not actually sure. I'm pretty sure he said that he was working on adding, like, AI. Like, kingdoms is just going to be, like, a little bit. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. I meant to build the manor as well. But we need some families first. So basically what we're trying to do right now is we need to raise our approval rating enough to get more like families so that we can actually have more industries because we're limited by... We can only do five things at a time and we need all five people working to raise our approval rating right now. Why this guy isn't doing anything. Oh, they are transporting. It's just so far. That's crazy, man. We got really unlucky with how far away our wild animals are on this map. <clears throat> so, yeah. We can just chill in the center of the village for a little bit while we wait. Or approval rating to go up this okay so this is the part where I was saying I don't like is you're severely limited by your approval rating and there's this like time in the mid game where you just have to wait for your approval rating to go up to high enough to where you get new families because basically the way it works is at the end of each month it, your approval rating goes down by some amount I haven't quite figured out why and if it's above 50% when it goes down at the end of the month you get one new family and if it's above 75%, you get two new families. So as you can see, we just got our first new family. They moved in because we were above 50% at the end of the month. Um, so honestly, with the food production, I found it to be really rough. So we got lucky in this match where it's like we have a lot of fertility, but a lot of maps have like... Um, no fertility at all. I mean, a little bit, but um, and those maps is like really rough. Ours is actually pretty good, but on the maps where there's like no fertility, I found that the only way to have enough food is you just have to import a bunch of food and export a bunch of other stuff because otherwise I found it quite hard to 
um, have enough food. We actually want to put this family in the forester's hut just so that our guys don't have to go so far away. We should, uh, should survive this winter quite easily. Yeah, sort of. It, it, it's definitely hard to get more families at the beginning. And you can't, like, do anything else because you need all five people. Because, like, to raise your approval rating, you have to have all of these filled, right? So the church is, like, passive and the water's passive. But for the fuel stall, you have to have someone working in the saw pit. For the food stalls, you have to have two types of food. So we need one person on the berries and a one person on the, <clears throat> uh, the wild animals. I mean, technically, you could use your burgage plot and make, like, chickens for another type of food. And then for the last thing, you need the clothes, which you need from the tannery as well. So that's why it's, like, really limiting, is you just have to wait. There we go. We got another family, though. We're growing just fine. Let's put them into the saw pit just so that we get enough planks so that we can build our main room. And then we also need to gather this rock pit eventually. The game is gorgeous though. I actually absolutely love it. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I actually don't quite understand why that was. When I was playing on, like, a higher difficulty, when I upgraded to 2, it, like, really screwed over my approval rating. But it may be because, like, I'm not playing on the highest difficulty in that playthrough. So it may just be that because I'm not on the highest playthrough, it's okay to upgrade it early. But I'm not exactly sure why that is. I haven't done enough testing to figure that out. Should be enough planks now. So we can let him build that. But yeah, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. I never quite figured that out. Clear up some empty brush here. Those bandits are relentless. Start getting some stone because we need it to build the manor. I'm planning on putting the manor like right there. I forgot that when I do that, that causes them to come attack me. Oops. That's okay. We will deal with that when they come. It's a lot of time. Actually, I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. That might be a little bit rough, but... It should be okay. We'll have our manor built by then.
So this is the manor. It's like your castle planner. It's how you put stuff down. Yeah, the 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 approval rating punishment is a lot higher on uh, the higher difficulties. That is completely correct. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Renek. <laughs> My man did watch the gameplay. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. We can build our trade post now, too. We're not really going to have anything to export yet, but it is good to just have it up for when we need it. We're going to have to actually start building some housing soon as well. Sounds good, man. Have a good one. Thank you, bro. Yeah, get some sleep for sure, dude. We're good on our stone for a while. Oops. That was like a little bit weird. Our trees like right here. Pop it doesn't matter. We can just clear the work area on that. That is something to keep in mind. We should upgrade that when we start getting money. Hmm. <laughs> Building our trading post, our manor is still in, under connection as well. Construction, not conduction. Um, so we can tax when we want. The other nice thing about having a castle is it gives us a retinue, and that gives us another army as well. So like in our retinue, <clears throat> this is where we can like upgrade our armor and stuff like that. So, and then all of this is still work in progress as well. Okay, we have 12 families now, so I think we're probably good to start upgrading our houses. Um, and let's put down some more houses as well before we do that, though. Not enough goods. We don't have enough wood. Didn't have anyone in the logging camp that I didn't realize. I actually put two people in the logging camp for now. How's our wood doing now? Still six. So we can put down three houses. So probably about that area. Yeah. And we can look to start upgrading them now as well. Let's see, we don't have enough food. No meat. Is that where, uh... There it is. Really? Oh, it's because we're 9 out of 20. Okay, so with this problem, what we may need to do is we may have to just build a chicken coop just so we have a second type of meat, honestly. Um, I don't, I don't think you're actually able to do, yeah, you can't train your militia to be better. It's only like your retinue. Um, with the armoring, 
it doesn't actually say i'd assume that you can probably equip armor on your militias as well i'm not 100 percent sure no i don't mind bro go for it it's great i don't mind it at all but yeah i'm It doesn't look like you can actually like equip your militia with armor. I think that's probably only your retinue. That's my guess. Oh, come on. I didn't realize we'd have such an issue with the two types of food. Now that it's like spring though, we should start getting the wild animals again. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I honestly don't know if there's a way to upgrade your militia at all. No, it, it does look, if you look at the bottom, it looks like you can equip them with a helmet, a gambeson, and then like plate mail. So, um, definitely you can you can craft stuff to make it better. I think. Oh, eggs. No, how does that not count? have too many berries and not enough meat. Maybe we'll do like five. I don't know if that'll limit like how fast it comes back, but we need to upgrade our burgage plots like now. There we go. At least one of them had it. About 14 families. We actually need to build more houses too. So we can actually make some more planks as well. We just need more food, man. The other thing I could do is I could just try out. I don't have the production to really put anything out yet. What we can do with this is we can actually change it into a joiner's workshop. Or we could do with shoes. Shoes sell really well. Let's see how much leather we have. We don't have much leather, actually. Yeah, we'll do a joiner's workshop and start selling shoes. Hmm. Yeah, do a joiner's workshop and start selling shields with him. The only issue is we need more money to be able to <laughs> um, actually like open the trade route. I don't quite understand why our food isn't. Like we have no meat at all for some reason. Let's go take a look at the joiner real quick. Yeah, <laughs> small shields are good. Oh, there we go. Let's see how much it costs to sell the, the small shields. We need 34 silver to be able to pull it off or 30 so For food variety is just screwing us here yeah I was definitely planning on doing an archer shop as well for sure Good call, man. Mm -hmm. 
Honestly, I don't really like either of those policies. Dropping approval rating is really bad. Man, what is with this food variety? Just have to watch it really carefully because people like the food variety does not. Yeah, there's not much we can do about that right now. We could start up a field. That'd be one way to increase our food. What if we have our fields back here? Right. So we also need a farmhouse with that. And then uh, with the farmhouse, we'll need a windmill and we will need a communal oven as well. And uh, we will grow wheat and crop rotation and leave them fallow so that it get, gains fertility back. It should be the highest. That's the only way we're going to gain more. And you're right. We should build some bows. Yeah, the farming does cost a fair number of families, but it honestly won't be too big of a deal. I think for a field this big, two families should be enough. Hmm. <coughs> Just need more food variety. for one family to do that. We should build some more houses as well. two people. Oh, it's September. You know, we should just leave it fallow and grow wheat the next year. So take these people off. We'll leave one. doing okay on as soon as we get like money enough to open the trade route it'll help us out so much we're just really limited by the freaking hunting being so far away
we'll just go fully down the blacksmith route. <clears throat> Got 154. I don't know if that's turns. It's definitely not months. It's definitely not seconds, so I don't know. I swear I changed this like that. Um, let's take a look at our retinue. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to actually upgrade it at all it at all right now. One thing we could do is to start raising taxes, we could just add the tithe. Like a five percent tithe and see how that what that does. Store excess weapon. Our store has full. Oh, you know what? I bet we need another ox, probably. We don't have the money for it right now, though. We could look for a cheaper thing to trade and then, like, sell it. But. It's like planks wouldn't be the worst thing to sell, but our planks are being used up really quickly by our bows and stuff. died. Yeah, we just need like, just need that 30 gold and we'll be good. So close. I should probably put two people there. What I will do is I'll make our bow militia right away. And this will be very solid for sure. How are we doing on families? We have 22 living space, 19 families. We do need to build more houses. Fuel person, I guess. Basically, I have everything, everyone living off of berries, and that's it. I do have to be careful not to grow too much before we get like our trade and stuff set up, because that could really screw us over. Um, so basically our regional wealth is going up by having, when you upgrade a bridge plot to level 2, um, it generates one regional wealth per family per month. That's how it goes. So that's how it's slowly going up. But we sort of got screwed because we just can't get enough food um, to, like, supply, basically, is what's going on. <coughs> 
For some reason, like, this just doesn't seem to be doing well. I don't know. I should have built the fields earlier, is what I should have done. But that's okay. Let's see, what else can we build while, while we're waiting? Really anything else we need right now. Could just start building some more industry though. so close. As soon as December ends, we'll have enough money to uh, start our trade route. There we go. Okay, finally. Oh my gosh. Why is this? Stop. So, we will sell our small shields. We'll export them. Basically, we don't want to have any surplus because small shields don't do anything for us. And then we'll put two people into our trading post, and those should start making us money quite quickly. And that will allow us to import food, which will allow us to upgrade our plots, which will in turn make us more money, and we should be good to go. I think the first thing I'll do with money, though. Interesting. Is that, do I not actually get it? Oh, I get influence from the tithe. I forgot. But the tithe doesn't actually give me money. Yeah, I'll start taxing a little bit as well. No, the eggs did not help me at all. And it screwed me over for the trade route because the eggs costed 25 I mean, that, so the eggs let me get, like, a couple of burgage plots, but I think the food variety just goes down too fast, basically. Yeah, we're going to need to start importing food for sure. I think we can do... I mean, I don't think we'll have any issues fighting off the bandits if it's anything like in the video, but we just have to wait. I'll put another person in there. to look into upgrading these soon too. Just need more planks. Our planks are being used up so quickly. Wow. I think it's just because we don't have oxes though. We don't have enough oxes, so I'm not sure. Yeah, look at our money though. That's looking great. Let's build another hitching. Let's build two more hitching posts actually. We can also look to upgrading them into a stable as well. We may just need a second saw pit, honestly. Okay. Let's figure out where these people are. Oh, they spawn, like, right there? Really? Huh. Where 
Are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. Um, let us rally our troops. Over here. Alright. Let's do this. Where are they right now? What? I swear they were just on the map. See, this is what I mean. The combat's like a little bit, a little bit weird. Um, let's see if we speed it up. If we can see them. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Okay. Speed it up a bit. Let's just wait for our archers to kill them a little bit. Back up. Getting to sh I'd say this is going to go very well. I think we can tell our spear guys to push forward. And they're retreating. Well, that was quite easy. Very nice. <coughs> and then we can disband them just for now. Easy money. Oh yeah, so the army, the army with the star is from, so in, in the video I completely forgot to build the manor. But the manor is what, so this is like your retinue, these guys, and basically they, it's your own army that you can then like upgrade and stuff. And then you, you can actually change like individually each person within it as well. So like we have um, Earhart and you can upgrade like his armor like this and then you can also change just what he looks like. And I, I don't think changing, like, the weapon or anything does anything, though I'm not sure. Um, and then you can change, like, what shield they have as well. And the cool thing is you can do that for each individual person as well. Oh my gosh, our food is just terrifying. Um, honestly, I'm going to turn off the tax now that we fought off the bandits. We don't really need to tax anything right now. <laughs> um, how's our trading doing? The small shields are actually down to one now. That's fine. It's going to cut down on our, f on our production or our regional wealth for a little bit though. Let's see if, is there anything else that we're producing that we can sell? I've, so, I've sold shoes in the past, but with our how bad our uh, deer is, I don't think we're going to be able to sell that. Yeah, definitely not. So what I think we should probably do... Why is this... Why has this not switched to like this year? I'm so confused. I think there's something glitched out because I it's been like this for like a long time now. I want them to plant this year. If they don't like it, it's actually gonna really hurt us. So 
They should be planting in March, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'll put a third family just in case. I think two should have been enough, but we really need more food. And with the wealth that we're getting, I'm just going to start building more chicken coops. And hopefully that extra food will give us the ability to upgrade our uh, plots more. I don't know if it will, but the, the food situation is actually quite worrying to me. I think three should be enough for now. And worst comes to worst, we can just import more food. Oh, yeah. All the enemy bodies need to be buried. Um, that is within here. So if we could just put it out here, that's fine. And we'll put one person to work there once it's built. I actually haven't built this building before, so. Oh, sorry. It's, just, it's literally just a pit. <laughs> oh, will they actually carry the bodies over? No way. Oh, they're not actually carrying anything, though. It just looks like I haven't quite added that yet. Now, the question is, will we be able to see them throw the bodies into the pit? Nah, they're just going to stand there. I love it. This guy's a little bit glitched out. I don't know what's going on with him. I guess maybe only two can dig at a time. Okay. How's our field coming along? It's April. Yeah, it's mostly sowed, so that's good. We have enough people working. I am getting quite worried with how many families are having moved move in. It's not good. What we could do is... Okay, good. Oh, now this is green. Once this burgage plot upgrades, we're gonna make another shield thing just so we can sell more shields. Because right now we're just not making enough shields to sell. <coughs> One thing I do wish that they would add is some way to actually see like where all your families are working. That would be really helpful. We can actually start selling our uh, war bows as well. 60 to open that trade route. That's crazy expensive. Oof. I, don't, I think we only need about 20 of those for now. So we can just sell those as we're going. How about selling charcoal? So I actually considered that, but I honestly figured that it, it would be more if it, I wanted to try like different development points this time and charcoal takes up a whole like development point. Of course it does lead to the deep mining one which is probably pretty good. Um, so maybe I'll do that. I don't know.
Let, let me think on it. I mean, it's definitely... Definitely tempting. Yeah, you know what? We can do that too. Do that too. Mm. Um, I'm not going to demolish that because we actually can't. Oh no, we still need the firewood thing. I didn't even realize. Oops. Because it, it actually converts to the firewood. It doesn't convert like logs. It's unfortunate. We should have grain now, right? Or no? Do we have wheat? Flour? Oh no, it hasn't fully grown yet. Okay. You realize it's still May. What are we doing on families? So 26, 25. We actually do need more housing. I'm worried about our food <laughs> um, issue, but I don't want to limit our growth too much. So weird if I put it by the manor. Right. I think that I will put our garrison tower down, like right next to our manor. Or I could also just put it out here. I don't know like where we're gonna get attacked from. Because last time we were attacked from behind, but I don't know. We'll put it right there. May as well put a tax office just because it looks cool. <coughs> oh, did I just hit? Oh my gosh. Oh no, no. There we go. I'll right, see. Those helmets and chest pieces you got points in. Can you sell those? Um, let's see. Mail armor, yeah, it sells for eight. And then plate armor sells for eight, too. The, so the issue, though, <clears throat> is I'd assume to build those, we're going to need. Um, a lot of iron, which with the rich deposit will work. We're just going to need to get the deep mining so we can get like infinite of it to uh, trade, you know, much. Oh, and we can actually take this off. That's good because I'm pretty sure we got all the dead bodies. I don't know if we need like another person here or not. How are we doing on our... Maybe we do just need like one more fa family in there. We're looking good on the regional wealth. So I'm, I'm going to start adding our uh, backyards. It should help out a lot with our food issue. Oh, good. Okay, we finally got a bunch of upgrades. Is that not what? Oh, I don't have enough wood. I was like, why is that not letting me upgrade it? 
Oh, we're building so much stuff right now. We just didn't have enough wood for it. Almost there. There we go. So, yeah, the reason I'm going with chickens is, oh, I can't even, um, so vegetables, uh, while cheaper, they take, like, the people actually have to, like, plow and harvest it in their own backyard, so it takes them away from their daily jobs. Chickens, it just provides a passive yield of eggs, which is really nice, and then goats, I don't really need the passive yield of hides right now. Um, eventually, I will want to have a lot of goats so that I can, like, build shoes and stuff, but... As of right now, I just need the food so we can upgrade all of our other plots and then uh, like once we can't, oh my gosh, we're finally making a lot of money. Nice. I might actually put the tax back on just like at maybe 10%. But yeah, the reason I don't want the vegetables is I don't want them to be doing that instead of whatever their like actual job is. housing um could put a row down that That should give us enough room. One, some of our houses may not have like exactly what they need, but. Mm. I don't like that they don't have backyards when I do that. So this is gonna be a little bit weird, but what I think I'm gonna do, we'll just put like this road right here. And then we'll do like the two houses like that. We're not going to have enough wood for this yet. We'll cut that in half. And we can have like three houses on this side and probably just one right there, actually. But it, it'll have an expansion slot. Oh, seriously? There we go. <laughs> We're not gonna have wood. Um, let's check how our field is doing. It's growing right now. Once we do that harvest, I'm gonna switch the people off of the farmhouse and into the windmill. And that. Regional wealth does seem to be a little bit low, so I might take off the tax for right now. <coughs> start upgrading these. We just need more wood. Need the builder though. We just need more people to move in. The one thing I don't know is I might actually like be at the point where people aren't moving in because we have too many of our level two houses. Good luck into upgrading our church. I need the clay, that's right. Where is our clay? All oh, her clay's so far away. Woo! Man, that's rough.
Oh, there's our green. Yes. So we harvested. Actually, only one person because that's where it turns into wheat. One mill oven. I'm actually going to take these guys off of charcoal just for right now. Oh, just one person there. All these have eggs. more wood. Um, what I might do is I might take a person off of our saw pit, just for now. Can we go through here and just slowly upgrade each of our buildings. Um, yeah, it, it is relatively similar to Frost, Frostpunk, I would say. I mean, it's different in ways, um, but... It does feel a lot like Frostpunk when you play it, honestly. Um, what we can do... Let's add someone in there. I might just have to add a second uh, logging camp, honestly. Yeah, man. No worries at all. Is this built? Okay. I'm just gonna max out our logging for right now and see how that goes, and hopefully that will allow us to upgrade more of our houses. <laughs> Too steep. Really? Oh, it's just too steep, like completely. Is this too steep? Wow, oh, okay. I guess I'll put like industry buildings there or something? I don't know. That's under construction. We still have a fair number of level ones over here. Requirements not met. Is it too far away from the market? Huh. Do we finish?
Okay, that's done. This will be fallow for two. How much grain do we have left? It's all been turned into flour. So we shouldn't need anyone else here. We throw both of them into there to bake more bread. And then we also want to put one person in our clay furnace so that we can start upgrading our church and stuff. Let's see. We have 29 houses and 29 families. Okay. We need to find a place to expand. Let's expand on this side. So the policies, honestly, most of them are locked in early access. Like, you can't even access them. Um, and the first two, I actually don't even like. Because um, this one reduces the yield of crops, and we don't have the wild animal on our rich deposits. And this one, citizens skip every fifth meal, but it decreases your approval rating permanently. So honestly, it's annoying because I... Neither of the policies is actually good for us. Something we can do is we can actually add more fields and have one going each year. I don't want to make it too far. So this is on the third year. This will be the second year. And then this will be the first year. And we'll put people back in the farmhouse once we're done cooking all of our flour. Fuel stall. Really? I wasn't aware that we had a fuel issue. We just need more families right now for what we want to do. How are we doing on our clay tiles? Actually, don't see them. We have clay right there. Oh, there they are. Roof tiles. Lieutenants. can take all those guys off of that now and him as well now that we're basically done upgrading all of our stuff oh we were actually able to upgrade all those that's awesome nice on our saw pit and we're there and then, uh, we're actually doing fine on fuel for right now yeah. and I do want to go clear out those bandit camps soon um, just not quite yet I want to get enough money in our we we have like enough money now to where we can start taxing again and i want to upgrade our retinue as much as we can and build up our militias and then we'll go clear them out
These houses over here may just be like slightly too far away from the marketplace, honestly. We can start building houses back here. <clears throat> I have no planks, really? That's crazy that our... Yeah, that might be it too. The thing is, I figured... In the forest, where is it? I figured the Forester's Hook could probably keep up with it, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Who knows that kill? Okay. <clears throat> we could actually cut down. Let's move one of these logging camps. Or... Do that for now. Just make more firewood. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Okay, we're not going to move that right now. Should be able to upgrade these soon. Just some more planks. How are we doing on our trade? Honestly, what I might do is I might take these people off of this just for now. And I'm, I don't know if I can actually stop them. Is there a way to stop them from... Because the issue is it's using up planks really quickly. But Loki, I don't even know if I can stop them from using up the planks. I almost feel like I can't. Yeah, that's definitely something to add is stopping the production in your artists and shops. Because I just have this infinite issue of never having enough planks. What, I have two on both saw pits? Expand that one. All these should be fine. I don't think we can ex expand any of those. We have chickens on these. Let's do one more chicken plot once this is upgraded. Oh, now we have planks. Okay. Upgrade that while we can.
I hope he adds details to the insides of buildings eventually. I think that would be cool. So what I'm thinking is this row over here, I think I'm going to do goats and that will allow us to have a, <laughs> um, a cobbler's workshop and we'll be able to produce shoes and we'll have two types of um, clothes for everyone. And that'll solve everything except for the tavern supply. But for the tavern supply, we will have to actually, I guess we can grow barley, can't we? But we could also just import it as well either way. I completely forgot to add peop have people assigned to this. Oops. Maybe they can get it done with three. I hope. We'll put four just in case. Which one is this year's? Yeah. Anyways, we were going to make some goats. Looks like our tree supply over here is doing okay still. More stone. What? Okay, there we go. We should have like way more than enough of the roof tiles now that we can probably take people off of that. And oh, where is that clay deposit? Am I crazy? Where are we gathering? Oh, it's gone. Okay. I was like, where did the clay thing go? Well, let's add that to get herbs. Let's upgrade that as well. Now we should have a good income of hides now. do a couple more goat maybe some more chickens as well and this guy will be our cobbler's workshop this so we can expand we have 37 35 we do need to expand our housing soon screwed that up or not. That should be fine. Yeah, no, the clay doesn't come back up. doesn't come back once you've mined it all. So that's the difference between, like, the clay and then, like, this, which is a rich deposit. This doesn't come back, but with the development point for the deep mining, we can just mine on it forever. But... The clay is never coming back, and that's why trade's important. Because we can trade, um, we can always trade to get more clay. I'm sure, it's in here somewhere. Yeah, there is. We can always buy it, but we can never mine it anymore. It's just gone. So, it's time to add some more people back to this. our fields going they actually got it planted nice hmm. 
I'll be right back. That's my bad, I did not mean to leave y'all in the corner of the map. Okay. Let us keep this going. I am going to take a break to go get lunch pretty soon, just so people know. Um, so maybe before that, let's take a look at our Virginia. Yeah, so you can... <laughs> nah, so we can't do that, but we can actually recruit more men-at-arms right now. How much money? Do we? we only have 187, though. Let's turn our tax back on. Five percent tax. And then with this, we can actually just upgrade our armor to the people that we have. schools anyways no, that's fine does look like we're gonna need like one more person in our treasure or in our tannery because I think we're slowly building up more hides let's go kill this bandit camp though oh that's far away though that's really far let's kill this bandit camp may as well because um, I'm gonna get off in a bit just to go have lunch so There's no bandits there. That's weird. About over here. Yeah. Or 
Where is our army? There it is. This may be a bad idea because it looks like they're running out of stamina. Like as they're running across the map. So I don't know how much this is going to hurt us to do this. I also don't know if you can like regain fatigue. I want to just move my guys here first and see if they can get it back. So the way that I increased the numbers in the retinue is, I mean, before I rallied it, I went to the mainer. Or no, it was just before I rallied it. If you click on it, there will be like a button where you can customize it, basically. Where is our... Why are you so tired, bro? Oh, shoot. They saw us. Oh, okay. Let's slow this down. I feel like this is going to be bad because my guys are so tired. I didn't realize that they would aggro like that. That's like a big aggro radius, honestly. Y'all need to freaking... Y'all are slow, bro. <laughs> I look so tired. <laughs> Okay, so note to self, do not run halfway across the map because you guys will get tired and then this suck. Wonder, I want to see like what it says about fatigue. Um, hmm. Doesn't actually have any information, so. Hmm. Oh, it does. Maybe the increased armor is why I, my those guys got fatigued. That would make sense. Oh, it does look like they're shooting already. That's nice that they shot automatically. We're definitely pin cushioning them. <laughs> well, that was easy. My retinue is useless. We're just going to disband them because they're just so tired. Um. <laughs> Can't disband outside of home region. That's also good to know. Okay, we'll send them back. I want to see what happens if we actually select these guys to go over there. Oh. The zoom is like a little bit weird sometimes, where it just like zooms really fast. Alright, anyways. Oh, yeah, walking into it actually does something. Oh. Looks like you can't actually do that, though. Oh, no, you can't. Hmm. Ah, it gives us regional wealth. Okay, next time I'm definitely going to keep that for myself. So there is a reason to like loot the camps. Um, our retinue is almost there. I want to see now if I rally them again. Oh, that's so interesting. They get they get full fatigue if you disband and then re-rally them. Very interesting. Anyways. Very cool. Are there any more bandit camps to go destroy? I think we're pretty good on... Oh, there's one right there. Could have one more fight, probably. Give me one sec, guys.
let's go claim that bandit camp as well. And then I will end this stream for at least right now. I haven't even checked in on my town in a while. I've been so distracted. Looks like we're actually doing quite well. We just need a tavern supply. Tavern next to the church. Definitely nothing wrong with that, right? I can actually mess around with control. Okay, he needs to add like double tapping one should switch you over to your out or to your units. But other than that, I think it's doing well. guys back to home. Give me a sec. Okay, y'all. I am going to end the stream there because I need to go eat lunch with my girlfriend and stuff. But I think overall, this was great. I'll definitely be streaming a bunch more uh, coming up to release and afterwards. Um, and yeah, I'll be releasing videos as well. So thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, Renek, Owen, Fat Boris, Austin, Zab, y'all are the best. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. We did a... I mean, we, we built up a pretty good town here, stopped some bandits, killed some bandits, so I think over it all, it was a pretty good playthrough, and I will be back in maybe a couple hours streaming again today. Let's say this is, we'll just call this live stream. <coughs>